Hey everyone, DuckNuck84 here, back with more adventure in Broken Sword. In the last episode, we found a manuscript that might be a big clue to the case, and so now we need to go to the Musée Crune and find an expert on the subject. And lo and behold, that looks like the tripod in that manuscript that we just saw. And what do we have here? The security guard? Oui, monsieur. Are you Labino? Oh, no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. No. I am the deputy custodian. But Labino does work here. Work? I wouldn't go so far as to call it the he studies here most days, but as you can see for yourself, not today. Okay, well... Maybe you could answer some questions on this you know manuscript. Do you about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me Must be the one. uniform. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park <laughs> No, no, no. They assume. I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is... I am no scholar, not like Monsieur Lobino. Okay, so you're probably not going to know anything about the Knights Templar either. Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. That's a rather strange way of saying that you don't know anything. Thanks for your help. And... What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. What do we got here? In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. Exactly, that's what I said. It identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site of a Knights Templar preceptory. Ireland! What's it? This tripod was found in That's Ireland. what the little card I says. I have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Okay. And then we got a rather familiar looking Tutankhamun sarcophagus here. This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. Okay. I remember you have to do something with this to get the tripod, but it looks like we can't do that yet. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything else here right now. And what else? Let's see. Let us go to the police station. I remember that... Sergeant Moo might know something about the matchbook that we have. Excuse me, Sergeant. What do you want now? And we can report being harassed I'd by like gangsters. Yes, Monsieur? Where is the victim? I'm the victim. I've been harassed by a pair of thugs. I see. And where did this alleged assault take place? Outside the Hotel Ubu. They stopped me as I was leaving and went through my pockets. Could you describe the suspects, Monsieur? Weasley guy One and a gorilla. Like a gorilla, and the other looked like a weasel. Their names are Flap and Guido. Oh, I'll get them this time. So you've been after them, I see, and matchbook. Does this matchbook mean anything to you, Sergeant? That's a double-line Swedish with a crosshatch Bergman strike strip. Now, that's unusual. Pre-war Anderson hinging. Really? I haven't seen a reinforced Anderson outside of a private collection. It's rare, then? In this part of the world, yes. There are only three places these are made. Taiwan, Manila, and Slough. Okay, so... Basically, that means that this club is not in... Europe. Is Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Uh, sure, why not? Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again.
Hi, Inspector. Remember me? What do you have to say about the gangsters? Do you know a pair of thugs called Flap and Guido? I have known those two since they graduated from special school. Flap is a nasty piece of work. But Guido is the real brains of the partnership. Where did you hear of them? I met them out front of the Hotel Ubu. Yeah, when they harassed me. Have you heard of the Knights Templar? Les Templiers? But of course, monsieur. Their fame is widespread throughout France. We haven't forgotten them. Unlike the rest of Europe. It was the King of France who persecuted them, though. Indeed. That shook his cool. Underneath his cultured facade, the man was real twitchy. You're obviously a great admirer of the night. You must have read Dan Brown's book. They were men of great honor, monsieur. The flower of chivalry. Not everyone would share your views, Inspector. Not everyone shares my passion for Bartok. Bartok? But if the Templars were as honorable as... That's enough. I do not wish to hear your uninformed opinions. Stop Besides, out. you are American. Why did you get so wound up about the Knights Templar? They've been dead for centuries. I shouldn't have pushed my luck. Maybe his ancestors were Templars. But then they'd be dead. Whatever. I saw the anger flare in his eyes like a distant summer thunderstorm. The Templars were the first true internationalists. Eight hundred years on, and still the world is fragmented by nationalistic flag-waving fools. You will excuse me. Okay, uh... I was expecting you to storm out, not have me so end the conversation. Expected. Had more impact if you just stormed out without having me to press exit. And, uh, while well, here, why not? Hmm. Maybe not. Nope. Okay. See you later, Sergeant. So we got a little more information, and maybe now the professor is here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Let's see, so... Okay, we had to go back to Nico's apartment. Hi. I've been to the Croon Museum. Did you speak to Labineau? No, he wasn't there. Now we have something new about the have clown you found killer? Out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clown's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know. But I can't imagine it was coincidence. Although we do know they met because of the stupid encrypted letter that we had to decode. Let's oh, take crap, another no. look at them. Gotta go through all this again. There's no. A, a nut through. There's a. But there's. Look at this. Okay. Now we know this. I found the tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Marne. I have heard of Loch Marne. I read an article about the castle. Take a look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine? You read that rubbish? No, I write it. Professor Nigel Pegram excavating a medieval castle at Loch Marne. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Not only that, but he canceled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marne must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history. They're all cuckoo. Hey. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belota case. If you really think Pikram's dam is important, why don't you visit Lochman? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Where is Ireland exactly? Next to the UK. Okay, so nothing else then, I think. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. So, does that mean that... Yes, now we can go to the airport and go to Ireland, which they've also changed the map and it the old map was a little more colorful and had little 
I guess representations of you know a little for you know Russia it had like someone doing a Cossack dance and Spain it had like a matador and stuff like that it's just kind of bland but Thailand I passed the castle on the way into Loch Marne the castle where Pegram's excavation was located Okay, now what do we got? Let's talk to this person right here. Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Uh, let's go. I'm George Stobart, that way. and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of the picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? Because they won't let you in? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother bedridden and dying of presumption. You're making this all up. Cheated me too, but I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I, see what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. And he took the high road That's why too. I run away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Okay, before we... See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Talk anymore. The way they've done the audio is terrible. I'm seeing if I can... Yeah, let's turn... I don't know why that was down so low. Because the last couple of times we could barely hear what they were saying. Or not saying. Saying! Couldn't see, we could see what they were saying, but we couldn't hey, hear what they were saying. Fire. What? What about the clown? Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne, they all dress like clowns. Are you saying that Irish Man, people dress I'm like clowns? Because that's not very nice. Psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff, only no one believes him. Then... While he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. You're a young 25, yeah, right. then. You're not a day over 14. Oh, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids, if you count the wife's. No, what you are is, sounds like a pathological liar. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. You're scared of something because you're not telling me everything. What about the professor? You know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Okay, well, what do you know Can about you him? Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't, because he's not here now. But if I seize him, I'll ask him. Okay. I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. <gasps> the dreaded school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called... The Phantom Aloch Man. What about this g g ghost? You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig. 
Only worst, it was coming from inside the cat. <gasps> it's probably old man McGregor. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows that could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home, but me legs had lost their stuffing. I'm guessing you mean they fell asleep. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on me ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing an horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. Well, anything else? I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. Well, okay. That would be a logical thing if you believe in ghosts. And I think you're not going to say you anything about Pegram that. Do you know what was doing in the castle? Digging for buried okay. treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons. Like in the films. Yeah, they ain't going to find any of that. Most of that stuff's already been removed. Uh, clown nose. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? Sure. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. Yeah, that's right. I stole his Can nose. I have it? Sorry, I'm keeping this as evidence. You should have told the cops. I did. They weren't interested. You should run tests on that, mister. You could identify the murderer with a sample of his snot. Yuck. I don't think so. Besides, this isn't CI. This isn't CSI. What does this tissue mean to you? Disgusting. Oh. I think he's just going to say nothing to all of them. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. Ever heard of Thomas Merlin? Or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. Uh, shake my hand. hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. No way. And finally, matchbook. Do you recognize this matchbook, McGuire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. Besides, I don't smoke. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Well, let's go into the bar. What do we got? We got a bunch of interesting characters. Let's start with the fiddler. He wasn't listening. Or not. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. I'm O'Brien. Can I help you? Of course you're an O'Brien. Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Loch Marn. Oh, no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. Well, you Have missed you completely what I was trying to ask. Tesla? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know, they were the originators of our system of credit. Their financial empire stretched from the Atlantic to the Caspian Sea. With bases in so many countries, they had to establish new methods of fiscal transfer. So, the Knights Templar were nothing but a bunch of bankers. I don't get it. Are you saying these Templar guys invented bank charges? In a manner of speaking, I suppose they did. What a dirty trick. Didn't anyone try to stop them? Oh, yes. They were arrested, and many were burnt at the stake. Good. They bloody well deserved it if they were anything like my bank manager. The rest of them formed shadowy corporations and put people inside of machines that made them go through their memories and relive their ancestors' lives as assassins. What can you tell me about the castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. 
Okay, what about that tripod? Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Oh, there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram. The same man who dug up the gem. Okay, and what about you know this professor I then? Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. I saw a pint with our esteemed host, I might add. Okay, why? You didn't like him why or something? Pegram's departure upset the landlord. He's lost a paying guest, that's why. Ah. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bid. Poor Michael seemed red over the business, and I don't blame him. How can I get into the castle? But well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare say you'll find a way, if you've the will. Yeah, climb over the broken walls. Do you know where Pegram is gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He oped anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dawn. Why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lachmar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to now. Enjoying our beer. So about this what can gem. You tell me about the gem which Pegram found. Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the Jew? You're not a reporter, are you? No, I am not. Because it seems you do not like reporters. Oh, no. Thank the Lord for that. And besides, I need that gem to solve a puzzle to solve an even Can bigger you tell puzzle. Me more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would be sophisticated. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. <laughs> I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in Braille. <laughs> well, maybe he needs to put in some light bulbs with that paper. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? The design is Middle Eastern, I'd say. Okay, so like I said, make, starting to make sense. Something to do with the old man, the mountain, Middle Eastern. Yeah, I'm getting a picture. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nope. I've never seen him before. Well, that's a good thing. Because if you had, you probably would be dead. Does this red nose suggest anything to you? No, it doesn't. Probably not what do you make of this? this tissue? That's well, disgusting. That muck on it is grief paint. Actually, you're the only other person other than key characters that have got what was on it right. What can you tell me about this ID pass? Groove Air Electronics? I've never heard of it. I'd like to shake you by the hand, Mr. O'Brien. Oh, no you don't. Everyone seems to be on to the hand buzzer. And sure, why not? Does this tool mean anything to you? I'd say it was for lifting manhole covers. Again! You are right! You're smarter than the average bar patron. Well, uh, is this gonna be the same thing? Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Okay, so let's let's see what you have to say. Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him to talk to. Well, then why'd you make a big fuss about it? Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. It's a castle it's on the hill. Brian here. He just joined up writing. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? Yeah, I like history. That's right. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic. Oh, University. Miskatonic. You're an archaeologist, and you're asking us about the castle. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels, and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Yeah, the Miskatonic University is a fictional university that is used in Call of Cthulhu games. Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? To sell them to Here's museums? The of archaeology, part. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. 
Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Two pints. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and favored condoms, more likely. Yeah. That is probably what they'll be finding. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's Dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Hadn't I dug more hopes than the rest of them put together? Yeah, but then you shat all over them because you were incontinent. I think you meant he said that you were incompetent. Incompetent. I don't know, it sounded like Do I said that wrong. Do you recognize this matchbook? No. Probably you haven't seen him either. The man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella to be sure. Is he a film star? He's a murderer. What does this false nose mean to you? Ah, uh, no. You're a clown. Exactly. Does this tissue mean anything to you? No, boss. Does this security pass mean anything to you? Uh... Well, no. Well, at least you're honest about that. your hand? No, you can't. Well, how come? Because I'll spill me beer if you do. We couldn't have that. Bye for okay. now. Okay, let's go down the line. Let's talk to the bartender. Top of the morning to you. I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? No. Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? <laughs> well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is there a room you're after? Um, not at the moment. No, no I don't you. think so. I don't plan to stay too long. Who does? Most folk take one look at Loch Martin and jump back on the bus. Have you served any, uh, clowns? Well, it depends on what you mean by clowns. No. You're the first today. Oh. Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? Oh no, I'm just trying to track him down. Me too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram stay here? Yes, he did. Six nights plus breakfast. And he didn't pay a dime for it. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Is this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale? Anything that's not Budweiser or Coors. natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and worn with bits in, and it makes you fall over. <laughs> good beer. Look, I gotta be going. Not because you get nothing else, and I doubt you're going to have anything to say. What's this here? It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. Okay. A towel that is beer-stained and says beer. It was a rectangle of toweling printed with the words, Nagopoline Stout Builds Body. Also builds bellies, too. If you drink too much of it. What's about this nervous, shifty My fellow? George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Yeah, and he's disappeared. What can you tell me about the castle? There's nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. I'm starting to think you're Have dodging you the questions. The I used to play there sometimes. When I was a kid, then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head, and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? The fact that you're being shifty and hysterical when I ask you the question. Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. Then what are you doing in a bar? I tablets of my nerves. More than a pint, and I'll pass out. Well, do you want this beer towel? I've never seen this towel before. Doesn't it belong on the bar? Not anymore. Very observant, Fitzgerald. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Check out this pass. Thomas Merlin? No. Never heard of him. 
Well, what if I was Thomas Merlin? What does this red nose suggest to you? Blood. Why is that? I used to bleed a lot when I was a kid. Every time there was a playground scrap, I'd end up with a bloody nose. I wouldn't have minded, but I wasn't even involved in the scraps. Yeah, the two guys, they would just be fighting, then all of a sudden, let's go pick on Fitzgerald. What does uh, this Fitzpatrick, whatever your name was. You? Nothing. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know him. Shake my hand. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn, Damn it. you're right. I can't seem to fool anyone. Well, the first act is you don't say shake my hand, you just offer it and then see if they see take you later. it. And what about you over here? Hi there, old timer. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. <laughs> anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Even worse. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. Okay, well, do you, you know, know the Ingram, professor? The archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. Just know of him, like everyone else. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Only the ghosts. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee, stunted beast. Long beak, straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Lachmar? That'll be the day. No, that was a ghost, to be sure. And you sure you weren't drunk? I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh! Well, that solves that mystery, I guess. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me poco. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. That's... When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 really creepy, because that sounds more like you're going to strangle her than give her a necklace, because it's made out of steel wire. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure, but I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. You mean get you drunk? Could you use this towel? I could, but it wouldn't be much use for anything else. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. Well, fine. But not before you answer the rest of my you questions. Recognize the man in this photograph? I can't tell without my glasses. What does this red nose mean to you? Nothing. Yeah, I think this is going to be nothing you for all of it. Of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. Especially when they've already been used. Take a look at this ID card. I don't know anything about it. And finally, will you hey, shake my hand? Shake my... Uh, no, on second thought, forget it. Yes, let's not ask the suspected strangler to shake our hands. He might strangle I'll us. I'll see you later. If I remember right... Yeah. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed this piece of wire. We're going to need that for something. I can't exactly remember what yet, but I remember we needed it. So maybe we go talk out over here, I guess. But I think we'll leave that here for now. 
Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time.